Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. What kind of inheritance? March 21. And Manoah said, Now let thy words come to pass. How shall we order the child? And how shall we do unto him? Judges 13, 12. The words spoken to the wife of Manoah contain a truth that the mothers of today would do well to study. The child will be affected for good or for evil by the habits of the mother. She must herself be controlled by principle and must practice temperance and self-denial if she would seek the welfare of her child. If before the birth of her child she is unstable, if she is selfish, peevish and exacting, the disposition of her child will bear the marks of her wrong course. But if she unswervingly adheres to the right, if she is kind, gentle and unselfish, she will give her child these traits of character. And fathers as well as mothers are involved in this responsibility. Both parents transmit their own characteristics, mental and physical, their dispositions and appetites to their children. The inquiry of every father and mother should be, What shall we do unto the child that shall be born unto us? The effect of parental influences have been by many lightly regarded. But the instruction sent from heaven to those Hebrew parents shows how the matter is looked upon by our Creator. The mother, who is a fit teacher for her children, must, before their birth, form habits of self-denial and self-control, for she transmits to them her own qualities, her own strong or weak traits of character. The enemy of souls understands this matter much better than do many parents. He will bring temptations upon the mother, knowing that if she does not resist him, he can through her affect her child. The mother's only hope is in God. She may flee to him for grace and strength. She will not seek help in vain. He will enable her to transmit to her offspring qualities that will help them to gain success in this life and to win eternal life.